Hello everybody and welcome to Dreadx Collection The Hunt. Some of you might have seen on stream, but I really like the Dreadx Collection games. They are a compilation of small horror experiences from various developers. So you've got Erdor from Faith in the first one, you have the Jemansky brothers David and John in Dreadx Collection 2. David also appeared in the first one with the Pony Factory, so make of that what you will. Uh, and we have a couple, we have at least one recurring face. And uh, we'll see how things go. I have not played this. I was given a code by the publishers. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for that, guys. Star, thank you, especially. So, uh, what am I doing? I don't know. Let me take a swig of water and then we'll start this thing. So, ever since Stratix Collection 2, so this is really the third installment in the series to do this, uh, the collections have a hub that you're... Uh, a hub environment where you have to solve puzzles in order to unlock keys in order to play more than one game. But, you know, I really like that. It's engaging, honestly. It's kind of neat. It's fun. For me, anyway. Maybe not for you, but that's okay, because there's a free play mode where you can just go straight to the games. Now, some of you are going to be a little lost because the Dreadx story does, uh... It's an over... It's like... I think it was described as a meta, uh, sorry, meta narrative, but uh, I don't know how to explain it beyond that. But I highly recommend the Dreadix Collection games. I think you might enjoy them. If not all of the games, there are at least a handful in each that are really good. It's all down to personal taste because horror is one of the most subjective genres out there, if not the most. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's go ahead and continue the story to explore the Arc Two base. Okay. Oh, there we go. Artemis, this is Dr. Crane. You're probably surprised to be hearing from me. I promise I wouldn't be reaching out if it wasn't important. I'll cut to the chase. We need a tracker. Eight of us were able to escape the initial breach. We've set up a new base of operations to track the anomalies and come up with a solution. I think we found a way to fix this whole mess. All we're missing is a tracker of sufficient skill to hunt down the source without alerting it. We can take care of the rest. Again, I wouldn't be asking if you weren't the best. Communication to the station's limited due to the shard's climate, but there should be an upcoming window for safe transit. So I've attached coordinates to this message. I hope we see you soon. This music is amazing. All right, so are we in control? All right, I'll be back in these waters in two weeks. I'll give you a call and see if you need pickup. Good luck out there. Godspeed, boatman. Godspeed. Ah, there we go. Wow, the mouse sensitivity is high. I've got this on my normal DPI. Let me turn on... I can't believe I'm saying this. Let me turn on sniper mode. This mouse has a button that reduces it to, like, 400 DPI. Oh my god, like, okay, this is that, and I think I'm normally around- Nice one, Sam. Warm and fuzzy as ever. Maybe we'll have some time to work on your manners between saving the world or something. <clears throat> Field report from tracker Artemis, on site at coordinates 76 degrees south by 27 degrees west. Attempting to make contact with the team stationed at a base in the vicinity. No visible wildlife or locals, hostile or otherwise. If found, please deliver this log and, if possible, my remains to the West Bay Diesel Nomads. All right. So, what I was going to say is, like, this is me... Ooh. Anyway. This is me with 400 DPI. This is my standard... That is really sensitive. Wow, okay, I'm gonna have to hold that down for a little bit. So, I should point out that, unlike the previous collections, Dreadx Collection The Hunt is a collection... I'm gonna say collection a lot, I'm sorry, in advance. Anyway, it's a collection of first... or of shooter games. So, first person, third person. No second person, sadly, but I understand that is very difficult to do. Uh, anyway... In this case, David Jemansky actually 
served as the creative director for the project, so he was involved in each of the game's productions. Left click to interact with the object in front of you. What this was this a snowcat from The Shining? Hmm. Can I run? I cannot. What am I hearing? A rave? Also, are these veins? Is this building made out of flesh? A gingerbread man sits in a gingerbread house. Is he? Is the house made of body dangling from roof? Uh, locked front door. Bloody handprints. What did you get yourself into? Base appears to be dark. One visible body, um, likely deceased. Front door is locked. Gonna check for alternate means of entry. Is the house made of flesh? Or is he made of house? He screams, for he does not know. So the obvious entrance is over here. But instead, I'm going to check out over here because I'm just curious. Radio Tower. I was about to start singing Radio Gaga by Queen, and then that would have ended very badly for me. Oh, isn't the copyright system wonderful? YouTube. Yay. All right, well, we've explored as much of the outside as we can. Let's see what's inside. Snowcats. Ooh, snowmobile. I, there's, a, there's an invisible wall here. I am sad. Snowcats, snowcats, snow tires. Wait. Oh! Hello! I have a gun! I just accidentally right-clicked and found that out. So, this is a little suspect to me. Because... All of these have treads, and what would you even call these, like little skis? I don't know how snowmobiles work. Door is frozen shut, it won't budge. Can I, no, no, it's not gonna work. Is this a heater? Do I need to turn on the heater? Do I need to close? I probably, wow, it's dark out here. What happened, did it suddenly, oh. That's just the environment. Okay. So that door is frozen, so we're going to have to find a way to thaw that. Locked. Maybe I can blast it off? Right button, and then... Whoa, 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 all right, bad idea. <laughs> uh, maybe I can knock down that body from the roof. They must have a key. Okay, I was not expecting that. That was clever, very well played. <laughs> Uh, hey, wait. Hmm. Can't interact with the gas tanks. Okay, that door's locked, so I guess I do have to knock the body off the roof. Kind of wish I could run, but I understand why I can't. At least as far as I'm aware, I'm holding left shift and nothing is happening. Maybe if I had Z? No. Why would it be Z? Who binds run to Z? Gotcha. Well, not the most graceful solution, but, um, you know, hey, <laughs> if it works. Exterior key. Press tab. Open your inventory now to continue. I have a... Oh, recordings. Nice. I like Artemis. She's sassy. I wonder how many rounds this rifle has. I'm not about to push my luck and find out. I swear, this is a heater. Oh! Wait, wait, what am I doing? I'm a fool. Exterior door key. Oh, God. <laughs> what a wonderful showcase, right? Right? Uh, I'm smart. It's almost 1 a.m. here. <laughs> To be fair, I'm only probably going to do one game tonight. God, who was that guy at Sony who looked at PlayStation 2 games and said who would play this? Anyone home? It's your tracker. Hope y'all have some fresh seal meat or something on the grill. <laughs> uh, okay. I love this woman so much. Anyway... <laughs> 
whoever it was, he's a uh, he's some big wig at Sony, and he was saying like, who would play this? You know who would play it? I would. Look at this. Is this a shovel? Is this like one of those things I used to pull pizza out of brick ovens at you know pizzerias? I don't know, but I love it. The ambiguity is kind of what makes it for me. Parkas. I don't know. There's just a certain charm. Pardon me, I need a moment. <sighs> okay. I'm all right. One, nothing wrong with me. Has anybody seen my mower? Look at this graph, 15 kilohertz. We're running low on chips, this, ooh, ooh, I assume this says stop. Where's the eraser? I just, I'm sorry, I, I was not expecting Nickelback in my DreadX collection games. Let's move on. Location confirmed as Arc 2. Interior of base is cold. Likely been abandoned in at least a week. Gonna try and locate the generator. With any luck, I'll at least have a warm place to rest until retrieval. Just shutting the door behind me just in case. I have played a lot of Resident Evil 7 recently. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't mind me. Oh, that's cute. It's got some little... It's got a little bit of, uh... It's an actual sign. It's not just a texture on the wall. I like that. Mess hall, medical, generator, stairs. Doors jammed shut. Doors jammed shut. We got this, just in case. It feels nice having a gun. Don't take that out of context. Please. Doors held shut by some kind of power lock. So that's the thing. All of the signs pointed this way, so I guess I have to... Guess you and your friends were busy, huh, Sam? Ah, there we go. I can barely read these in this light. I should get the power on. Okay. What is that hissing? Wow, what is the range on this? Hold on, let me go around. Note on the case reports. These case reports contain details on hunts that we have undertaken around the world. Each report contains information on the targeted creature as well as the circumstances leading up to it. It also contains the code necessary to retrieve that creature's sample from cold storage. Nice! Miss Hall Key. Hey there, Artemis. It's Dr. Crane. Look, I know it's been a while, and I don't want to intrude, but we need your help. We've been working on a fix to all of this. A way to kill the Cognito virus. It's not really a virus. I can explain it all when you get here. We've collected samples from some of the most aggressive shards, but it's getting dangerous. And we need someone that can get us in close without raising the alarm. That's where you come in. I've attached some coordinates to this message, and I really hope you decide to join us. I'm gonna go again. Did they have a thing between the two of them? Were they an item? If so, cool, but like, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot I don't get. Also, that floating crystal thing, was that a shard? Because if so, could I just shoot it? But they don't want the source disturbed. Would that be like a game over scenario? I don't know. Let's get this generator started. It's been eight fucking years. Encountered the team's operations room. Documents on site indicate some kind of plan to destroy the Cognito virus. Still no signs of the team. Located key to the generator. Gonna try and get the base up and running again. All right, so... Oh, dang it, there's no... Uh... Shoot. There's no 
you are here indicator. That's okay. Surface route to cold storage. Okay. Oh, that must be that building. Okay. So then why don't we just head over to the generator? So let's take... Let's hang a left, and then we'll go to the first door on the opposite wall. That's not eerie at all. I can't read anything in this light. Utility room and generator. Let there be light. Yas, queen. Morning. Catastrophic collapse detected in underground testing facility. Please proceed to area to assess damage and disengage alarm. Uh, wonderful. Time to head down. Hopefully I don't need to fetch like a key from the damn roof or something. Oh boy, I can only... That's probably what we're going to have to do. Oh, wow, it's the same it's the same chart. All right. Head down to the lab, was it? Alarm in the basement, yes. Sample retrieval lab, tunnel to cold storage. Okay, this isn't as ominous as I Never mind. I need to learn to stop talking. Nope. Oh, hang on. No. Yeah. Well, I kind of asked for this one. I thought it skipped ahead on me. Uh, Adatron, do me a favor and just, uh, just pause it when we get there. Is that a gun? Oh, boy. I should have scanned it. Surface route. Okay. Stairs. To the second floor should be over here. I'm already feeling kind of uneasy. And that does not help at all. Mm-hmm. Do we follow the trail of blood? Do we move toward the source of the blood? Bunk room. Storage. Captain's quarters. Two, three. There are four keys over there. Don't you do it. I have a gun. I'm not afraid to use it. Bunk room. <laughs> Just gonna close that behind me or not. You know, that's fine too. Can't close that. Let's just get the gun ready. I don't know if it's going to solve anything, but we'll see. Hmm. Alright, nothing happened. That's the guy from earlier. Oh, key card. There it is. Managed to seal it in. Got me good in the process. As if that wasn't enough, the generator went down and triggered the emergency lockdown trapped in this frigid nightmare a thousand miles from rescue. I'm gonna try the roof. With any luck, I can hop down, get the generator key from the operations room, get the heat turned back on. If not, maybe I can signal a boat. I'm taking the key card to the lab with me. If anyone finds this, do not attempt to finish what we started. It knows. Anyone that gets too close to this thing is painting a target on their back. Well, too late now. I'm in it for the long haul at this point. I'm already invested. Going on a wild cheese moose hunt. I'm not afraid, because I've got my gun! That's probably where they locked it in. Whatever it is. Why do I feel like I'm playing a Resident Evil game? Like, classic Resident Evil. I like that feeling. I really do. Is there a thing for notes? Hmm. Artemis, this is Dr. Oh, you I just, just had click some it. coordinates for this message, and I really hope you decide to join us. Key card slide through, go slides ahead. through the reader with a beep and the sound of a lock disengaging.
Decon. Away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright. Stop. Finally. I couldn't even hear myself think. Ugh. I love this woman. I love her so much already. Did you hear that? There's something moving around upstairs. The experimental weapon in the next room is nearly functional. The final step is to attune it to the seven samples gathered from transdimensional creatures. Samples can be retrieved from cold storage using the tube system outside the lab. Refer to the case reports on the bulletin boards in the mess to find the sample retrieval codes. Continued. Sample attunement process. Refer to case reports on the bulletin board in the mess hall. Note the sample code for that case report. Enter the code into the sample retrieval computer. Sample will automatically be retrieved from cold storage via pneumatic tube. Retrieve delivered sample and insert it into the sample analyzer. Once all seven samples have been attuned, the laboratory will be unlocked and the weapon can be accessed. So this little gizmo is going to save the world. Huh. Error. Pneumatic sample transfer system blocked. Please check connection located in cold storage vault. Oh, come on! Oh! Well, on the bright side, I was planning on checking out the whole place anyway. As good as an excuse as any to see all the glorious sights. I see a key in this glass. That could have gone better. I found a note that shed some light on what they were working on here. Seems the research team discovered a method of both neutralizing the cognitovirus and preventing further spread. Further information regarding the cognitovirus has been obtained and will be processed into a full report on conclusion of site sweep. Going to check the pneumatic sample transfer system now. Well, we gotta go to cold storage. I was... Not looking forward to that. Uh... It's okay, it's just the hub. You're not actively being hunted right now. The fuck is that? Thank you! Thank you! Oh my lord, where's my map? Okay, so I just went to the lab. And it doesn't look like... The, uh, doesn't look like the tunnel to cold storage is going to work. What is this? It looks like an eye? That looks like an arm? Or a leg? Right. Well, I'm just going to keep moving and have this at the ready, just in case. Gotta be safe. Gotta move. Was this always so dark over here? I don't think it was, but I don't know. All right, let's go to the surface route. Oh, a trench. That's uh, almost as good as a tunnel, <laughs> except cold and exposed and somehow even creepier. Hmm. Interior sweep inconclusive. Roughly half a dozen rooms still inaccessible. Haven't located any further researchers, alive or otherwise. There are signs of a struggle, and one of the rooms has been sealed off. Continuing search in on-site vault. Ooh, I like this ice texture. Look at that. Cool. You know, Artemis kind of reminds me of Gypsy from Mystery Science Theater. I don't know, it's the voice, but also, like, the personality? Okay, let's close this behind us. I can't close this behind us. Wonderful. What is this? Well, spoke too soon. Identified another researcher. Not Dr. Crane. I'm sorry, that spoke too soon bit was good. Okay. I should be able to use that computer in the lab to retrieve samples. Let's just hope there's not some kind of a bomb or plague monster in the ton of... You know what? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not gonna jinx it. Smart girl. 
Thermal budget's locked and there's no way I'm forcing that up. That is fair. Cold storage in the Arctic. Like, wouldn't that just be storage? Hmm. You know, you know what I like about Artemis? She's got that irreverent humor that you just kind of develop. All right, we're going to close that up just to be on the safe side. Has that gotten closer? I feel like it's gotten closer. I do like this icy trench, though. That's a neat little touch. I can barely let go of the mouse without it just freaking out on me. My god, the sensitivity. Now, I was warned that they are doing some bug fixing before this releases. I'm recording this ahead of time. Because, I mean, I got lucky. That That's the best way I could put it. Sky, this one's just for you. Things here are quiet, but shit clearly went down. And there's something else I just can't put my finger on. It's like this whole place is trying to push me out somehow. Like one of those inflatable carnival obstacle courses for kids. You can get through it, if you try, but it's always pushing back. But, gods, if the stars aren't just damn beautiful out here. I mean, if you think those babies sparkle on the plains, then you gotta try a thousand miles from the nearest flashlight. It's still another 13 days until pickup, and I already miss you. It'll be a cold night, even with the generator on. Wish I had you here to help me with that. I hope you're keeping the dogs close. Chloe always gets nervous when I'm gone, but you already know that. It's one of the big reasons I love you. I'll be home soon to tell you all this in person. If not, tell mom I still haven't found her yet. What? Hmm, you know, it's kind of cozy if you ignore the, uh, death. First night on site, passed without incident. Several locked doors prevent conclusive sweep. Going to continue facility investigation. Primary goal, discover location of research team. Group's research is possible lead. All right, so I think at this point, we have access to the sample codes, which means... We have seven games to choose from. Now, Torpal Duke has actually been one of the uh, recurring developers. He's been involved in every single Dreadx collection, and uh, this one actually takes place in the same universe as his first game, Hand of Doom. I don't know about the rest. I know that... Oh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Rose of Meat is perhaps the weirdest looking one, so we'll save that for later. Uh, what else? The House of Unrest is... You know, we're going to start with this because I know it has a laser crucifix in it. Oh, hmm, it's blocked out. Well, that's okay. So let's start that. Fortunately, I already have windows set up for each of these. This game does not have a save feature and is intended to be played in one sitting. I can do that. Oh, whoops, I meant to tab over and it just started up on me. Okay. So, let's check the settings, video resolution, okay, that works. Let me just double check that it's recording, yes it is, okay, good. Controls. Okay, there's a keyboard and mouse, so we'll, we'll try it with keyboard and mouse, worst case scenario I have an Xbox One controller hooked up. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start. 
I've been called to a priest's home out in the countryside. He spoke to me in a panic over the phone, requesting urgent help. Something about a demon. This must be the place. What is this music? I have... This will require all my holy power. I have two AK-47s, a pistol, and a crucifix. What the hell am I getting myself into? Laser cross away! Anyway. Hey, check it out, Terminator theme. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be good. Oh, you can run in this one. Okay. Father, keep your cross close. Use it to perform the exorcism and use the holy light of the cross to burn on holy flesh. Right click, right trigger. Use your gun. Also, be sure to reload it. R or X. Don't be afraid to run. You can also interact with various items, E and B. Press escape key or start button to view your inventory. Good luck. We don't have any of that, but that's okay. We have a cross. So, right away, I'm imagining it's going to be like Alan Wake, where you have to, like, burn away all of the unholy darkness and then just shoot them. That's likely the case. Hmm, I don't like this already. You're here. Yeah, I'm here. My thanks to you and the bishop. Oh, you have to press the E key to advance text. Father Higgins is upstairs in his room. He tampered with unholy things. Something evil has overtaken him. Please help us. I really want to know what happens if I shoot him. Absolutely nothing. Okay, good to know. Thank goodness for that. Oh, hey. I'll take that. A sickness grows in this house. Strange mold grows from the walls and spreads its tendrils. I've tried removing it as, as the groundskeeper, but it just grows back again. However, we have found that it does not grow near holy relics. Be gone, terrifying radio. I cleanse thee. Okay, so I need to go see Father Higgins upstairs. I like the name Higgins. Keep your cross close. It is a special power you have. Use it as a light when darkness prevails. Use it to fend off evil things. Use it to free me of this curse, the un this unholy unrest. These are, I love this glass texture, as an aside. Some of you might know, but I'm working on, you know... Sorry, that statue wigged me out. I'm working on, you know, making my own games, and it's really hard. Like, I know people say that all the time, that things are hard, but it is. Like, you gotta make sure the textures behave, you gotta make sure all the coding works properly. It's just a mess at times. Yeah, though... Well, I seem to have found the right door. I'm not too worried about exploring right now. I just kind of want to experience it. A circle of protection and three rare crystals. Crystal formed from ancient alchemy. These were the key to capturing the demon. But I do not have the strength to do such a thing. I will lay the groundwork until help arrives. I hope I have enough time. I will fix this for you. Oh. Oh. In the name of God, manifestum, manifestum. Demon, release the servant of God, release him now. I adjure thee, most evil spirit, by almighty God. Okay, that's terrifying. Why does this feel like Faith? If you guys have played Faith, like, this feels very similar. Oh. 
That's new. All right, he's been exercised. Can I fix this painting? I cannot. Just gonna burn away all the mold. Hope to the good Lord himself that I'm doing the right thing here. Oh, hi. How are you today? I'm just gonna hold this down. Okay. Not bad. I really hope they don't get back up. Well, let's find out together, shall we? Oh lord, where did you come- Haha, -ha. where did you come from? shouldn't go there just yet. How the How did I get you to straddle that? You know, I don't want to know. Right. Hmm. Let's just burn that away. Oh, huh. Statue room key. In my attempt to obtain everlasting life, I carried out an ancient ritual. This goes against all the teachings of our Lord. I have commun uh, communed with something impossibly evil, and now resides within this house. It stalks these very halls. Oof. Okay, that, that weirded me out a little bit. Oh! Sorry, I have to do it every time, apparently. Statue room key and library key. Did you see that? Uh, it's just the camera. Okay. I feel like a janitor. It's okay. We're just gonna go and, uh... Take a deep breath. Just strange box is locked. Open! I command ye! I... You know, you'd think that given my upbringing in the church and stuff, I would have a better understanding of this, but time away has apparently just ruined me. I'm okay with that, honestly. Oh, this is the library. Okay. Hmm. I know I don't have to do that, but it just feels right to do so, if that makes sense. Oh, hey, a shovel. I'll take a shovel. Why not? We built this statue and bathed the stone itself in holy water. I find that when I pray near it, it calms me. I feel replenished, it seems. This should prove useful in the coming days, I hope. That freaks me out every time, man. <laughs> I don't know whether it's just like the texture, like the noise on the screen or what, but this whole thing just gives me really uncomfortable vibes. What is this? I'll take that. Sure. Why not? I've used the library key. Okay, so I have the first statue, the shovel, and the statue room key still. I like the 
use of synthesizer here, though. That's nice. So I guess let's just go down this way. Oh. Oh. This is a puzzle room. Requires green crystal, red crystal, purple. Okay, so we have to find three crystals. And they do not seem to be in the pots. That's okay. So I think we've explored all that we can up here. No, maybe not. Ah, the statue room, okay. It's weird how even when you have a gun, you know, the thing you wanted in Amnesia, you still find yourself just terrified. I've called a specialist to help me. I originally called Father Sullivan from the neighboring parish to help me. He, s he had said on the phone that he had done three exorcisms. Turns out he had actually just seen The Exorcist three times. Now he won't leave. Help me, God. Oh, whoops. Wrong one. Requires an old statue. Okay. Why does this one pl Never mind. You know what? I don't know that I want to know. Ooh, hello. What's this? Something sinister grows in the basement. The groundskeeper went down to look, but did not return. A foul smell comes from its stone halls and from the old crypt. I have locked the door to the basement. Only I could burn this key to ashes. Oh, well, I think I know where that key is. I'm just holding this up because it makes me feel safe. I'm sorry. What was that? Right, it's the radio. Okay, so it, it's all right. I'm, I'm managing. I am relatively calm. That darn groundskeeper. He keeps leaving his dirty tools around the house. I pray I don't knock some sense into him before this is all over. Well, oh wait, if I can't leave, then the key has to be in the fireplace. Fire needs light. Oh, I see what's going to have to happen. I need a lighter to light the fire, and the fire will provide me with the key. Jesus, that's... The pool outside. The water has become acidic. The pool could be trained, but the mechanism is missing a specific gear of some kind. The last priest who lived here tried to fix it before he passed away. Poor soul. Be healed, house. I'm going to hell. I realize this. Like, just thinking about it, the the way I approach things, it's just, it's very obvious there is not a place in heaven for me. Oh, there's a note. I know what I must do. I will offer myself to the demon. Let it take me. The demon will not be able to refuse possessing a servant of God. This is the only way to slow its progress until help arrives. Well, I guess I should take care of this first. Gotcha. I've played a lot of first-person shooter games. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, hey, the other statue. Just to be on the safe side. Extract from Solomon's hymn. Three sisters walk the night, far beyond their father's sight. Or, oh, it's like an excerpt, okay. They walk the midnight roads alone, where spirits walk and devils roam. There they practice alchemy, to warn their god what they foresee. Walk the night far beyond their father's sight. Midnight roads. Can't say I know exactly what that's referring to yet. Unless that's the statue room.
Hmm. What is this? Oh, the pool. Got him. Uh oh. Beefy boy. I've got a gun. I'm okay. You know what? Maybe, uh. Let me go put that statue down first. Kind of regretting opening that door now. I know where I've been because there's no flesh on the walls. This is such a weird statement, but I, I'm rolling with it. I haven't been in there, and I... It freaks me out every time. I have not been in here yet. So let's go ahead. I have no shadow. Am I a vampire priest? This really just does feel like Faith with a gun. So, Faith, now that I think about it. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. Oh, hey! I'll take that, thank you. I got a Chaos Emerald, yay! Hold on. All right. Now then, uh, while we have the opportunity, I'm going to go downstairs and clear out the rest of this floor before I go outside. means oh, I was holding the A key I was wondering why I was Tokyo drifting that freaks me out every time it's like okay so there's a house down the road from us they have this really lifelike looking Santa figure that they put out there and every time they do it just they face it out toward the street and it's just it freaks my sister out and I love it Do I have reason to, la to laugh at my sister's dismay? Not really. Do I do it anyway? Yes. Whoa, what happened here? What happens if we do... I'll take that. Uh, what's this key? A strange key. Okay. Doesn't help as much as I would have hoped, but that's alright. Hmm. The collision on these is a little weird, but that's okay. It, it still works. What are these? Baked beans. Dan's baked beans. Okay, that's actually really cute. I can't open any of these, so what's this note read? The demon is As Asaku, an old and very evil spirit. Soon it will look to break free of this house. I mustn't let it. There must be a way to destroy this creature of Satan. Nothing in the oven. This looks more like a Lego brick, honestly, but that's okay. Seriously, unless you guys have ever tried to, like, do 3D modeling stuff yourself, you don't really gain an appreciation for it until then. It's hard. It is very tough. Come here, you. Okay. Uh, uh, I remember he said the pool was acidic. Right. So I need a gear. And so naturally, I'm going to just go check every suspicious nook and cranny, but it's probably over here in the cemetery. As an aside, can I just point out it's kind of lame? Oh, 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 hi, 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 how are you? Stop that. Anyway, as I was saying before our friend showed up, can I just point out that it's kind of lame that we took the term necropolis for where the dead were uh, buried or just laid to rest and replaced it with cemetery like 
Okay, the Greek translations are Necropolis is City of the Dead, and Cemetery is Poimetarian, or Place of Waiting. Ooh. I get it, it's like you're waiting for when Jesus comes back, but still. Ooh. <laughs> I might have to up the brightness a little bit in post. Adatron, make a note of that, would you? Oh, this is why I have the shovel. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just trying to scan ahead to see if there are any more meaty fiends, as it were. This is the one I need. Oh, uh ho! -huh. The gear! Cool. Just keeping an eye out. I love how ominous the sky is. Oh, hey. Two down. God, and this is... I'm the guy who wants to speedrun Squirrel Stapler. Which is a game in Dredex Collection 2. Just keep that in mind. It's it's fun. It's by David Jemansky figures. There we go. Pool is drained. Now then. That's two gems. And now I still have to find a way to light the fire. but I have not found a lighter yet. Wait, that grave had a candle next to it. Can I take that? Oh, right. There we go. I just heard it start raining outside. I was like, wait, something's not right here. Okay, so now we know where the strange key was. I knew I was forgetting something. Just gonna keep an eye out. Heck it, Billy Joel. I started the fire. It was always burning since the world was turning. Alright, let's go see what kind of horrors wait us in the basement. Mm. Ooh, ooh, I saw something running. I think that was just the particle effects. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. You know, he's pretty good for firing with his left hand. Is this priest left or right hand dominant? Not that it really matters. I'm just curious. Gonna take it easy. Flash the lights. Clear the flesh. Skip the rope. Look at me. <laughs> Sorry, I just... The cadence and everything made me think of all together now. Did anybody else go to high school with... Or is it just like a high school girl thing where like some of the girls go through with this big Beatles phase? Because, I don't know. I never got that into them, but I was friends with a girl who was. A couple of girls, actually. I doubt she's listen I doubt she's watching this, but hey, Ola, how's it going? How you doing? Miss your face. Miss talking with you. You were cool. You're good people, is what I'm trying to say. Ugh. Leave it to horror games to just bring back memories. I don't know what that says about me. Just watching. Just keeping an eye out. 
groundskeeper is over here. Back way for the willy! Oh lord, there he is. There we go. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that has to have been the groundskeeper. Whoops. Okay. That's all the inventory, so let's get back up to that nightmare room. Let's just run, because I have a feeling... Call me crazy, I feel like he's going to get back up. Whether or not he does, not for me to say. I just don't plan to find out. Where did that priest go? Is that him there? The one I talked to at the very beginning. Okay. This reminds me of Eldritch a little bit here. Soul of Dagon, Nyarlathotep, and Cthulhu. That's very bright. Oh. Hi. H how are you? Pathetic priest. You may have trapped me. But the power of your cross is useless here. Time to die. You first. I don't need a cross. I've got guns! No. Not like this. What the hell? What did this game turn into? I love it! Uh-oh. Drop like the flies you are! He is Vigo! You are like the, bl the buzzing of flies to him! Suck it. It is done. Can I just take a moment to appreciate this music? Like, damn! Also, the star effect is lovely. Alright, I gotta leave. I'm bobbing my head too much. I was wondering where the AK-47s were gonna... Uh-oh. I was wondering where those, those were gonna come. The demon has been destroyed. But at a heavy price. The demon's infection took this house with it. The bishop won't like this. <laughs> Rest easy, fathers. And amen. Okay, that was actually kind of awesome. Dan McGrath, you did fantastic there. Who did the music? Please, please tell me Andrew Holschult was involved. You know, I know it's a thanks for playing scenario and there's probably... It's okay. Whoever did the music, you're doing fantastic. I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute. Alright. So that's House of Unrest. I liked that. That was fun. Let's go ahead and exit. We'll get a little bit more exposition, I imagine, and then we can call it for the night. A3C3, okay.
back to the board. Let me just make sure. Okay. Good. Gods, I have seen some rough places on the fringe, but just what were you thinking, Sam? You're a doctor, not some kind of commando. Ugh. It appears the group had been conducting expeditions to collect samples for some kind of weapon. According to these files, there should be seven samples, each associated with a different expedition. Well, Sky did always tell me I should read more. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was a good game. I like the House of Unrest. Uh, you know, I'll mull over. I kind of want to do Seraphixial next, so we'll we'll start there next time. For now, I'll see you guys later. All right. Let's enjoy some sweet beats from the House of Unrest. Later.